Hey guys, it's a Dudley Kitten here. Um, if you are new here, welcome. We do a lot of unboxings. Um, and today is no different. Uh, this is like the first time you're seeing my face in a very long time and I apologize. Um, I just been super, super, super busy with work and trying to deal with a lot of things off to the side. Um, on top of this room that I normally do film in, um, is currently being used, um, for my fiancé for his work. Um, so this is actually supposed to be his office for now until we convert it into a, into our kitchen some more, or open up our kitchen some more. I apologize, my hair is a mess, my face is a mess as always. Um, every time I think this thing's gonna go away, it just does not. It looks a lot better than what it has been. Um, but still. Anyway, enough of me blabbering. Today I have the Fortune Cookie Soap of the Month, um, right here. Before I get into this, though, I do want to sit there and say I did make a small little purchase off to the side. I say small. Um, it was about $50. Um... They had a huge restock of hand sanitizer, and so I grabbed two bottles of hand sanitizer, one for me, one for my fiancé, and um, I got him the, I want to say shade, the scent of Atlantis, which smells super, super good. It's like a very, like, beachy kind of smell, um, but it smells so good. And then I got me, which is uh, PJP, which is Polyjuice Potion. Um, that too smells super, super good. Um, I will have to go and get something else that smells like PJP just to like verify because I think not tr are trying it in a hand sanitizer. The base notes of what you get is nothing but alcohol, so it's a little difficult sometimes. Um, I feel totally naked because I don't have any lipstick on. I'm sorry. Um, but I did make one for that. I also got a few things that I just wanted to kind of like let you guys know about. So they do have these things called dusting powders. And I got this in the Bloom Bloom room. Which by the way still smells fantastic. It literally, if you get the wax tarts of this, it smells like bubble tape. And it smells fantastic. Um... I use this, I put this actually in our sheets at night, and it just, it makes the sheets smell good, it makes me smell good, it makes the sheets feel silky smooth. I love this stuff so, so much. Um, I'm actually almost already out, and I just got it. So the second thing, um, our fourth thing now, that I bought, uh, was this Salty Much Salt Scrub. Um... This smells like heaven, too. It smells really, really good. I kind of can't, like, put, like, it's kind of like baby powder-ish, but not. Kind of like C mixed with baby powder, I would say. That's what this smells like. I can't for certain put, like, my finger on the scent, but this was part of their Hercules line that they did. So here's, like, you can even see it's like Zeus. If it wants to focus, probably not. And then the last thing that I got in that little thing is I, I wanted to round it up to like kind of be even. And I wanted to get something for like a bath bomb. So I ended up getting this. This did get kind of smushed though um, on my end, not theirs. It actually arrived in immaculate condition. I actually just left it on um, our little stand when we get in. So that's where mail goes. And... My fiancé didn't really pay attention. was like, oh, here's a box, here's a box. And this was underneath a whole bunch of mail, but this is in Sugar Daddy. This is a bath bomb. Um, I hadn't even opened to smell this. So, I guess that's what we're going to do really quick, because this does look like it is a little tiny bag. like I can do this okay Ooh. okay I'm not sure what the scent is entirely 
it's very like musky um that's what it smells like kind of like argan oil um kind of like musk but yeah it is called sugar day right there and if you want like any of the actual scents of this you can actually just go to their website and just type in like um sugar daddy and that will pop up if you type in um probably sell too much or look up just salt scrub they don't have very many salt scrubs so you know you'll probably find it anyway let's get on into this month this month i believe is a extended collection um or a special month meaning we get five five or six items and this is what this month is called. It is Just Keep Swimming. So this is Finding Nemo themed, which I love. Um, or Finding Dory. So, which I just saw like last year. But it says the extended collection launch party is May 29th at 6 p.m. Central. They always do this. So if you want to go, um, I would suggest to go and watch this because a lot of the times they do end up giving away a lot of free products um, during this. So I would definitely go and look. I always go and watch. And I have one before too. So I did get a little sticker here and it does say just keep swimming right there. Actually on a side note too, I just want to share it. Like my little brother, well god brother, um, he gets so angry because he's an only child. So he would get so, so angry and when he was a kid and the only thing that would keep him like from being angry would be me just singing that to him and he just could not help but laugh or smile. So, ooh, and I am seeing something I am all about. This is what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, I'm going to take out what I'm looking forward to the most, which is, bam, right here. This is called Finn Noggin Dude. So this is a shampoo bar. I love shampoo bars. Though if you've watched my BoxyCharm, you'll probably know that I did not like that shampoo bar at all. $24 is a little too much. This right here, this is not full size. Um, but their full size, I think is like 10 bucks, if that, for a shampoo bar. Ooh. Kind of citrus in there. Okay. That one does, it smells a lot better. It's not as good as the Lush Goddess because that's what I usually use. Um, but yeah, let me see. It says, hitch a ride with us on the fortune cookie soap current. Lime, lemon, 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 lime, fizzy pop floating with orchids and a curl of white chocolate. It may sound a little out there, but take one whiff and you'll be duding it up with us in no time. So yeah, it doesn't, like, you can definitely smell like the lemon. And I'm sure once you actually start using it, like, you'll get the other notes too. It's just that lemon smell is so, like, kind of overbearing. It kind of makes you think, like, oh, it kind of smells like Mr. Clean a little. Um, but I also said that about a bubble scoop too, and it was actually completely different once it was actually used and put in like the bathtub. So, okay, now it's kind of just random. So, I'm going to go with this guy. So, this is a scent diffuser, and this is in Jelly Man. I love their scent diffusers. I have like 50,000 of them all throughout the house. Ooh. This smells good. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna have to find this cap before uh, I let the goobers back in. It smells so good. I can't... It smells like bubble gum again, but I can't just... I can't put my, like, finger on it. So these are really easy. Oh, it smells like lollipops. Kind of like a Jolly Rancher lollipop. That's what it smells like. Okay, so basically you take the cap out. Take this cap off. You take the little cap, cap in these inside out. I can't speak. And then just tip it over until it starts getting wet on the tip there. Yeah. 
when you just hang it up, it smells so good. Oh my God. What is this? It says, let us reintroduce you to a delightful blend of black cherry that watermelon and frothy ice guava nectar. Floating with sliced strawberries and key limes. All of the fresh, all of the clean with none of that jellyfish sting. That's one of my favorite scents right there that they've ever done, period. Bloom Bloom Room, that, Make It Rain, I'm noticing. Um, anything usually with jasmine, I love. I love cherry, by the way, and that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a cherry Jolly Rancher sucker. Okay. The next thing in here is a fortune cookie soap. And this one is called Intervention. Do do if I can ever get this open. Okay. Anyway, this is bringing me back some kind of memories. I do like the design of this. It's bringing me back some kind of memory as I almost just ate it entirely. Hold on, I know that there's tweezers here. I just can't place it. Okay, so fragrance intervention. Oh my god, this computer. It says on your mark, get set, go. Okay. It smells really good. I still have the Make It Rain one right over here, too. Like, not even kidding you. Make It Rain. I still have that one here, too. I don't go through the soaps as often um, because I have the Make It Rain, like, huge soap, too, that I won from last month um, as well. So, or not last month, but I think, like, in April. Not April. That was last month. March. See? Anyway, this says, although this enchanting blend of creaky, creamy coconut milk and tangy pineapples drifting on a warm island breeze may get your taste buds tingling, you must always remember one thing. FCS products are for your skin, not your mouth. Sorry to disappoint. Well, that's true because I almost ate it. Okay. Next thing is a whipped cream, and this is called Aqua Scum. I think that's going to be my longest video this month. That's an odd scent. It says, feeling a little dry after taking a dip off the shores of Mount Wanahakaluki? Not to worry, the blend of juicy lychee, crisp apple, and mouth-watering peach nectar is sure to bring you back to a state of optimal hydration. Take that, aqua scum. Maybe it's the lychee. I'm not sure. That's just an odd scent to me. Like, either that just was not made right, or it's just a very odd scent. Okay, next thing is in here. This is called Whale Talk. This is a deep conditioner. Which, opening up, this is what they always kind of look like. Can't really see anything. There it goes. Ooh. This smells good. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. That is, pretend you are a whale. Put me in your hair. Feeling ridiculous yet? Not to worry, simply place this tropical mashup of strawberries, black currant, jasmine, grapefruit, and fresh avocado under your nose and take a whiff with. You'll soon forget the embarrassment. Okay. And last but definitely not least is an item that you never really see in these boxes. I love these things, okay? I have bought so many of these stupid things. I love them, and this is how I clean my toilet. So these are shark bait toilet bombs right here. So basically they come in like a wax tart kind of thing, which I kind of hate because they're, mm, get out. But the nicest thing, it's like a bath bomb for, for your toilet. That is the best way I can describe it. But essentially what I end up doing is I'll plop one of these suckers in my toilet, right? 
you watch it fizz, whatever, you wait a couple hours, you go in with your toilet brush, because before, you know, if you can wait a couple hours, if not, just wait for it to all dissolve, and then take your toilet brush, clean your toilet, and then just flush. But it still smells super fa freaking fantastic. This is giving me patchouli, a kind of musk. So it says, oh, okay, and I can see why now. Um, don't be fooled by his lucky fin. This little guy is one tough cookie. We may call him shark bait, but layer up with this fresh blend of sweet oranges, creamy vanilla ice cream, and juicy sandalwood infused strawberries, and we'll guarantee you won't smell like a bucket of chum. So, yeah, you can definitely tell the smell of the sandalwood. And it says, after flushing, drop a toilet bomb in the bowl. Let it fizzle out. No need to flush again. To clean, drop one, one bomb in the toilet. Let's sit overnight and hit it with the toilet brush in the morning. And you're good to go. Basically, I do the same thing. These things are a lifesaver. They come in, like, you think you get, like, six or seven. Or I think you either get six or eight of them. I'm not quite sure. It's the same as the wax tarts, though. You get as many as you do wax tarts. But these things are a lifesaver. And they're more, I think, eco-friendly to me than getting, like, a bottle of Lysol and doing that way. I like these. The scent, however, I do not. I actually like the one I got from the Alice in Wonderland collection, and I also have some from the Star Wars collection too. Um, the one from the Star Wars collection is as the droids you're looking for. So, but yeah, that was this month's collection. I love this collection. This was very, very nice. Um, I do love that they're starting to finally listen, I think, um, when it comes to different products, and I love that because I'm no longer getting a perfume every single month. Um, granted that it's pretty much what I felt like for the longest time is I have a whole entire drawer of nothing but perfume oils, um, that I'm never going to be able to get through. Like, I'm still trying to get like two years ago from their Easter box from the Kingdom Hearts one. I'm still trying to use that one. I still haven't even finished that one. So yeah, this was a very, very good month. I love that we got a shampoo bar. The last time we did this, I think was the Peter Pan box. Um, which I ended up not being able to use, um, because it melted, sadly. Um, but yeah, I love this. Let me, get, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.